Hello guys, I am the Canadian Reviewer doing a new video review for you guys and this time we're going to take a look at Mudslinger with the Destructicons. Oh, another power core combiner toy. So, let's take a closer look at it. Well, here we are. We've got Mudslinger and the Destructicons. I believe that's what they're called. You know, Mudslinger is the one in the middle. He's the bigger one out of the five. Uh, these ones are pretty much uh, legend-sized figures. Meanwhile, Mudslinger is about scout class. Let's take a look at the individual robot drones and then Mudslinger himself. So here we got what I like to call the Dune Buggy drone. It rolls fairly well. does have a mini on port on the top. Loads of weapons. Uh, this one can come up if you want. Overall, not bad. Kind of reminds me of uh, Armor Hide from uh, Revenge of the Fallen, or uh, I believe it's Landmine from the first movie, and Comder from Dark of the Moon. So that's kind of cool. You know, it rolls nicely, and overall, I like it. And here is the tow truck. It kind of looks like it has one of those rings on the nose of a bowl or whatever. Uh, Minicon port on the top here. It can fold down if you like. Uh, it does have a couple of rockets on the side, which if you want, they fold out like that. Which I thought was a pretty good idea. And it does have a crane, unfortunately. The only articulation is this, and it cannot hook on to any of the other drones. Still though, I kinda do like it. Except for the window that's a little odd, but I think it's fine. Overall, once again, I mean it, it's got pretty okay paint job, but I like it. Next we've got the pickup truck, which reminds me awfully a lot, awfully a lot, don't know why I said that, a breakdown with huge rockets on the back. He does have a Minicon port on the top as well. Decepticon logo. Overall not bad. That's the armored truck. I like it. And here we got the car drone with the... I don't even know what to call that. That is seriously messed up. Minicon port on the top, Decepticon logo, very nice. Rolls fairly well. I like it. Now here's the big one, Mud Slinger, which kind of reminds me of Dirt Boss from Transformers Cybertron. It rolls fairly well. I wish the tires were a little bit bigger so I can actually drive it up stuff, because most of it's just truck. And again, the robot is mostly here. Um... Decepticon logo on the side, as well as the other side. I've heard from people that uh, some paint were missing from one side and um, the other side had it. But uh, mine seems fine. Minicon ports on the back as well as the bottom, but can't complain too much. Overall, eh, I like it. So that's enough of the alt modes, let's go straight to robot mode! And there's Mudslinger in his robot mode with his little minions. But uh, let's take a closer look at this guy. I am not a huge fan of this guy. I, I will say, I, I think it's okay. But that's the best grade I could give this guy, to be honest. Um, I do not like how his arms are designed with articulation that is crappy and it's just not fun at all. The tires are big and blocky on the side, but I can understand that. His legs are way too short on the upper leg part. And sometimes his torso likes to come out, which kind of sucks. I do like the face, though. I mean, the face. Don't know if you're going to be able to see that. 
Yeah, I don't have the best lighting, but his face is pretty cool. I guess. Well, there's not really that much to be said about this guy that's so great. Because, honestly, he, he's not that great. He's just not. So there's combo mode without the combined components, and it's not that great. The arms are loose. The peg point for the Minicon is on the other side for some reason. Just overall, it's not that great. And there it is with all its drone components. I will say that it's not too bad with the drone components. On this guy, you do have to flip the foot forward, which isn't too bad. No real arm articulation with these guys. All you get is from the power core points up here. and There may be a few other joints where you can mess around with it. Also, head articulation. But no, duh. Um, but just overall, it's not that great. And if this guy doesn't pop out, um, like when you pull this guy back out... Because the gimmick is, when you push these guys in, they automatically transform. By the way, you also have to flip this down. But if this guy does not transform back, these rockets are in the way, and that's it. This guy, perfectly okay. I, I, I really do. I, I, I like the drone components. I actually think it's a great idea. A lot of people will disagree on, with me on that, but I think it's an excellent idea. I just wish that they took more time developing the centerpiece than uh, the drones. Overall, it's okay. But it's not fantastic. So if that's all the modes, let's go straight to the... No, to my overall review. So what I recommend Mudslinger with the Destructicons? I... Yes, if you want them, it's not a great toy. You can probably find better power core combiner figures. I mean, if you want them, I do like the limbs on this one. But it's not anything that will go... That's, that's worth going out on the limb for, really. It's, it's just not. Anyways, I am the Canadian Reviewer, I'm going to read some bacon.